and it's terrifying. Hi, and welcome back to Cheap and Beat with Taryn. I'm Taryn. Hey, yeah. If you are new here, welcome to Cheap and Beat. If you are not, welcome back. I miss you, Sting. How was your week? Well, actually, how was your two weeks? Because I took a week out. <laughs> I took a week out, thing. Ah, I got a little tan, can you tell? I got a tan, I went to the beach, it was really nice. I got a tan and I needed a tan. So bad, I have not gotten a tan. It is the middle of July and I had yet to get a tan. So, <laughs> how many times did I say tan just now? Like buzzwords. Hi guys, I'm Mistral, how y'all been? <laughs> Thank you everybody who stuck around on my week off. I just needed like some time. Like, you know, you do YouTube videos, you know, like this takes a lot of work and to do it every single week is like, it could be a little daunting. So sometimes I need to take a break. I might, I might switch over and do like three with videos a month instead of four. Cause it does get a lot, especially cause it's not the only thing I have going on. So anyway, thank you for sticking around. <laughs> so the week before last, I did drop a Dollar Tree haul and a video. I hope you check both of those out because I think they turned out beautifully. Um, some of the items we will be using today are from like previous, previous Dollar Tree hauls. So yay. Let's just get into it, shall we? <laughs> this is a little cringy to admit. Cause I put on like makeup for like events and stuff, but I've never done like full glam, like full straight up glam makeup and I was like it's the middle of summer nobody wants to see this why not make this video right now I was like all right I always wanted to put myself in full glam I just never have because I don't know and honestly I don't feel like full glam is like a thing people do anymore like because we've gone more towards like natural makeup and the no makeup makeup look that you know full glam is kind of like right but more recently surprisingly, um, me and my partner decided that we we're gonna get married in a couple years. So I was like, thinking about who would do my makeup on the day of? Would I do my own makeup? I feel like that's like, man, like why would you do your own makeup? And I'm like, well, what kind of makeup? Anyway, so that's how I was thinking about full glam. And I was like, I want to give it a go. So that's what we finna do today. If you see dandruff, no, you don't. No, you don't. I'm trying my best, okay? And stop attacking me, okay? Oh, before we even get up in this, before we even get too far into the crackinage of this video, I'm gonna need you to go on, on subscribe to my channel, click that little, click that little subscribe button, and then click that notification bell because you're not gonna get this energy what? Anywhere else. Then I need you to go ahead and like this video and share by telling your friends and telling your mama because 2021 finna be what? Our year. Okay, there you go, stink. I'm finna zoom you in. Let's get started. I feel like in my heart of hearts, no matter how hard I'm gonna try, this video is gonna be long. <laughs> I don't want it to be too long. So let me, I'm gonna get some eyebrows on and then I'm gonna come back and we'll really, really get up into it. All right. I'm a fan of these brows. These brows look pretty decent. For full glam. Oh, by the way, if anybody cares, I use the LA Colors um brow cream gel in the color deep brown which from a dollar tree haul i actually really love this stuff let's do our eyes first today and that's my <laughs> yeah and i'm gonna go for like a like glitter and gold and bur like very old school glam <laughs> like very much not old school but very like previous 2000 years category glam. I don't know, I just, it's, it spoke to my spirit. So I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the Juvia's Place concealer in the color 13, which honestly, I probably will be using most of this video. Um, just cause I have it on the back of my hand from when I did my eyebrows. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the e.l.f. Um, camo concealer in medium beige, just because it was right here on my desk. <laughs> Listen, I'm an opportunist today, and that is what I'm gonna prime my lids with. It's one of the most <laughs> one of the most distressing things to me about getting older as of late has been the amount of wrinkles <laughs> I have in on my eyelids. Oh, that is stressful. Let's get this eyeshadow purping. I didn't bring a headband down. I hope my hair stays back. Alrighty, so the first palette I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the Warrior by Juvia's. The Warrior's 2, I'm sorry. I'm gonna use the Warrior 2 by Juvia's. I'm gonna go in with Jamada, which is this really pretty, like, burgundy. It's like deep red burgundy moment. Just putting it on with one of my little MSQ eyeshadow brushes. And I feel like 
I always do like a color and then I do like I do like one color and another color and the inner corner highlight. I feel like that is like my pattern, <laughs> which is like to me the easiest and like the easiest while being impactful like that kind of eyeshadow look to me. But in all honesty, it's just because I'm very lazy. <laughs> Unfortunately, today's shape will be like that only because I feel like glam was categorized by the like cut crease, you know what I mean? And I gotta do, I have to do a cut crease if I'm doing a glam look, which means I have to also um, do like that shape. <laughs> so sorry, I will be doing that shape today as per always. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Kana, which is this like tan color. I'm gonna use that to buff out my edges because I don't know, like I could fade it to nothing, but you know, I wanna see what this color is hitting for. Oh, that's really pretty. It's actually, it's softening it, but it, it has a little bit of satin. I think if you are any lighter than me though, that color will show up as like, you know, like a full color, so maybe. Maybe not use, maybe don't use that, I don't know. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of, I'm just spinning it around. I'm gonna take a little bit of Kufuru. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of Walzana and I'm gonna mix them together to make like a deep brown. I'm gonna use those colors to deepen my inner crease and outer, not my inner crease. I'm gonna use those to deepen my outer corner to give it a little drama. That's what we're here for. We're here for drama, baby girl. I like to take a little bit, oh, I'm sorry, and I'm putting that on with the e.l.f. Detail Crease Brush, one of the ones I broke. Um, but I like to kinda take that and take a little tiny bit and blend it for fill. Have I been like all the way over here? Is that weird? I feel like I'm to a place where I'm getting where I need to go. I don't know, does this look? Kind of vampire-y. It looks a little vampire. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep pushing steak. I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Concealer in 13, which we will be using for my face as well. Um, and I'm gonna use that to cut out my crease. I'm a punk, so I like to take like a flat, a really flat brush, and I like to start in the center. But here's the problem. I do everything with my eye open. Everything. I never close my eyes when I do makeup, and I feel like it would be so much easier if I did. Like imagine putting on eyelashes with your eye open. It is annoying. But I feel like if I close my eye, I'm like without sight on half of my face. So now I'm really messing up. But I just like to literally get the concealer on the brush and I dab the bristles around. Look, my eye, <laughs> my eye was like, what are we doing? I like to dab it around to create that circle. So literally just using like the like very tip of the brush. Just tap. I need to make this a little bigger. Like so like that. Like Auntie Tab would say. One eye down. <laughs> now to do the other. Here's the thing. Are they gonna match? No, y'all already know I can't make my eyes match. <laughs> Let's see. All right. They look related. That's all I can ask for. <laughs> so I'm gonna take Walzana and Kana, a little more of that like cocoa brown and that deep, deep, deep brown color. And I'm just gonna work those a little more on the outer lid, a little bit into this concealer to kind of buff, buff out any harshness. I want the glitter part to be super impactful, so hear me out. I have this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Shimmer Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Fairy Tale Ending, which looks like this. Could we just? And I'm thinking about putting that on with a brush. I'm just gonna put a little on the back of my hand, then put it on with like this little Dollar Tree eyelash brush, and then on top of that, putting like a actual eyeshadow glitter. So let's see, I'm scared about disrupting my concealer base, but I'm gonna pat that on. On camera, it looks nice. In person, it looks cakey and gross. So, 
Now, is this eyeshadow beautiful? Yes. Does it need to go over a concealer base? I don't think so. I don't think so. So I'm gonna take the Warrior palette, the Warrior One palette by Juvia's Place, and I'm just gonna go straight in with the like shimmer pigment because I'm messing this up. So I'm gonna use Amina, which is so freaking pretty. I'm taking it still on that eyelash brush. I mean, that eyeshadow brush from the Dollar Tree though. Okay, there we go. This is what we tried to accomplish with the liquid shadow, but I knew something was gonna be fishy trying to put that liquid shadow over that concealer. I just knew it in my heart. This is pretty though. So pretty. It's just really gold though. And I thought it would be a little less gold. It is like not gold gold in the pan. I used this one and it, I thought it would be lighter. Whoopsies. So I'm gonna use this one here, which is Moremi. And I just wanna see if it will pick up a little lighter. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna be like a foily party. Yeah. I probably should have used Moremi. Moremi? Moremi? I should have used that first. I'm gonna use my NYX Epic Ink Liner to get a little eyeliner real quick. We're just gonna do a quick little wang, okay? I'm gonna try to make it small and subtle. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like my color choice is not the best. Cause it looks kind of dated to me. I don't know, I don't know. I don't love these colors. All right, I need, <laughs> it's just, it's just something about these colors that is bothering the crap out of me. So I am going to put a little purple on top of this red. And for that, I'm using a palette they may not seem affordable to most. I'm using this Morphe 39A palette, which I don't even think they make anymore. I know it wasn't more than $30 when I bought it, so. But it has this really pretty purple in there. I'm gonna use that purple over this red because I just need a reprieve. I wanted it to be more of a I don't know, like a smoky kind of color. This is so bad. Like, <laughs> let me put on eyeshadow after I've already cut out the crease, put on liner, added glitter, like all of it. That's backwards. But I'ma do it. <laughs> and I'ma I'm I'm do it, cause I feel like it'll be cute. I don't care. I don't care. It's gonna be work, but it's gonna be cute. Do I look like a Ravens fan for life? Yes, but I do like these colors more than I like the red, which I should have really thought about because it was like red and brown and they are pretty, no tea, no shade. If that is your colors, those are your colors. They were just not for me today. Um, So we switched it up, we had a little purple. I did go back in with the same two colors on the outer part of the lid and kind of a little bit into the crease. I think it's cute, we finna move on. So let's get this face on. So because I got a tan, I'm worried that my other foundations are not gonna match. So I'm gonna use some of my darker foundations. One of my favorite ones to use is my Rimmel Stay Matte. So I'm gonna use that one and to prime, I'm gonna use my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, which has seen better days because it's been through the mud. Thank you for anybody who like checked on me during my hiatus and stuff. Like I was fine. I basically, and and I'm an idiot because I put stuff in my Instagram stories that it does go away, <laughs> like the tan. Um, but I was fine, I just, I put in my Instagram stories and I guess I didn't like put anywhere else that I just, I was burnt out. I had other things to do, um, like I had other creative stuff I had to work on, like other work I had to do and I was just feeling really overwhelmed though. So. I gave myself a week and I think I will do that far more often because I have anxiety and when my brain just goes, 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 I end up crashing. So I never wanna crash and be like, I don't wanna do the channel anymore, but sometimes I just really need a break. So I got my little break. A funny story, I have two Rimmel Stay Mats, but clearly one is very old and one is not. This one I never really used because it was too dark for me. This is the perfect color for me and they're both mocha, but the older one is 504 mocha and that's what I'm gonna use today because uh, your girl got her tan, finally. I'm gonna put that on with a little sponge. I have not used a sponge to put on my foundation and I feel like forever. Yeah, see, that one's my color. And these little sponges, they were just like a set from the uh, like Ross, I think. To highlight, I'm using the same highlighter I used this whole video, which is the Juvia's Place um, highlighter in 13. 
And we gonna really put a lot on there because we're doing full glam. I'm almost, I'm not. I was gonna say I'm almost one color. I am not. <laughs> I lied to myself. And I'm just blending that out with a Real Technique spongy because it's clean. I don't know, I, I got real bougie today. I hit two sponges. <laughs> and we're just gonna blend that for for Bill, for Bill. See, this is why I like to do my concealer in my face first. Because you have a careless person like me who is watching Real Housewives and trying to do makeup at the same time and completely just conceals over her wing. Disappointment is just emanating through my poise right now. It is making my concealer crease because just the disappointment is just, it's resounding. Gotta go in, try to get this line right again. Redoing a wing is absolutely playing with fate. Like, you, you're really trying it if you wanna go back in and just redo a wing. After you've already put it on and you're just like, I'm fine. Like, you know, you never like overly, and I'm speaking for everybody in the class because clearly everybody is me, but like, you're never like, oh my God, I love that wing so much. You're usually like, it'll do. And then I gotta go through it again? The devil, he plays games with my life. I am then too sad. Yes, to set, I was like, what do I want to do next? To set, I'm using my Hard Candy Brighten and, Bright and Bake and Set. I actually really like this finishing powder. I use it all the time now. I really actually am a fan. I'm gonna bronze after this. Don't get stressed out. I'm gonna bronze. I'm just gonna add a good amount of powder because, you know, we're going full glam today. What does this brush smell like? <laughs> I'm getting powder everywhere. I've never worn this sweatshirt, like, ever, and I wore it for this video, which seems really dumb because I wore the sweatshirt for a makeup video. Like, okay, you never wore it before, now you about to get makeup all over it. To bronze, you already know. I'm gonna use the bottom one because it's about the drama. The drama! It is, this is quite dramatic, actually. I did, I did a little much. I did a little much. Okay, all right. Okay, you got me. I was doing the most. But we're here now, so I guess I gotta keep going. <laughs> That bronzer is just, my dog is going to lick himself. I cannot stop him. That bronzer is just, is it not exceptional? Like, am I crazy or is that bronzer just exceptional? Juvia, Ju girl, I love you so much. All right, I'm going back in with my Morphe 39A palette and I'm using that purple. I know, and trust me, I don't feel great about using this palette, especially because I am an affordable makeup channel. To keep it 100% with you, even though I use majority affordable products, there are some products that I use that aren't necessarily an affordable brand. To me, Morphe is about as expensive as I get. Because I think Morphe has some amazing items. They have some very, very, very beautiful things. And I think their price points are never like astronomical. But sometimes I just don't got it. Like if it's between a $5 foundation that I know works lovely and a $25 foundation, I'm gonna go with the $5 one. No tea, no shade, no lemonade. I love what you bring to the table, but a sister is on a budget. You know what I mean? And that's perfectly fine. I live my life on a budget. If I ever get rich, you ain't gonna know it because I'm gonna live like I'm broke. Listen, I'm gonna be at Charity Brunch in full head to toe goodwill, okay? And killing it, okay? Eating, eating. Anyway, I'm putting that purple underneath my eyes because it's gorgeous. And we're doing a lot because, again, we're trying to go full glam over here. Did you? 
That's huge. Then I'm gonna take Amina again, because I mean, we did it on the top. We might as well do it on the bottom. And that is gonna be like my inner corner. I'm gonna kind of continue this whole line here underneath. And then of course, we'll touch it up with the brighter color that we ended up putting on top. And now Moremi, which is that center color, that brighter color that we used to brighten it. I'm gonna put that right in my inner corner. I do my makeup in that order. Like stuff gets thrown off and then my smile lines start creasing. Ugh. Anyway, I don't know, like I feel powdery and creasy and it's bothering me. So I'm gonna set it before I get too greasy. I use my e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. All right, don't say nothing about my little blush. It is my Black Radiance, my favorite blush. So this is a Black Radiance Artisan Color Baked Blush in Warm Bar Berry. It is beat to heck, but I love it so much. It just gives me very much deep romantic vibes. And I feel like that's what soft glam is. It's like about, well not soft glam. I feel like that's what glam is about. It's about like the romance, you know, the like, dramaticness of it all so here we go go up. this blush was made for me like made for my skin tone what hello i know thing i know my niece is so funny my niece sits and she keeps me young like my niece literally is eight but she keeps me young because you know i'm not trendy anymore i don't know what's popular so <laughs> literally we went out the other day and she was like ugh Aunt Nick, you're so aesthetic. And I was like, I am? She was like, yes, she calls me Aunt Nick, by the way. And I was like, I am? She was like, yes, your shirt is green, your mask is green, and your wallet is green. You are so aesthetic. I was like, ah, ah, girl, thank you, Stink. I don't know what it means, but I liked it. I liked it. I was like, I'm giving something. <laughs> I'm aesthetic. Get out of here, I'm aesthetic. To highlight, I'm going in with this hard candy palette right here, and I'm gonna use this really pretty gold color. I know somebody is like, use the purple. Not today, but I will one day. I just, I want it to look glam and not necessarily like fun and costumey. So I feel like the gold is what I need to be using. And I'm just using the Chic Pro Highlighter Brush from Fabalou. The local Fabalou. Is anybody out here giving glam anymore? I don't know, but I just, I always wanted to go like, Cool glam. Okay, and then for lashes, I'm gonna use the I Only Lashes in Grape Escape or Wispy Cat Eye. All right, while I wait for my lash glue to dry, let me put on some lips. I'm gonna use the NYX Liquid Lip Suede in the color Vintage, and that is gonna be our lip color today. I don't know, it just is, this look is just calling for something deep and sensual. I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit. So I don't know if I'm gonna put gloss on it. Hopefully I can get my eyelashes on while that dries down. <laughs> Is it very like non-soft glam to put gloss? I don't care, I want gloss. <laughs> And this is the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer, Lacquer in the color Bubbles. It's just like clear, but it has this really pretty like glitter in it. Look at that. Subtle, gorgy. Also, one of my dogs started like actively vomiting when I was like showing you my lashes. This is what they look like. Let us set so we can wrap this whole thing up. I'm just gonna go ahead and set what we set with earlier, which is the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. It smells like coconut and I love it. All right, party people, and that's gonna do it for me in today's video. If my eyelash is lifting up, oh, it is lifting up. I'm giving the Yawny Lash Glue a second, like, try, and it is disappointing me. Like, my eyelash glue is lifting up, but we just gonna power through, we gonna power through. Um, So yeah, this is our full glam look today. I don't, how do we feel about it? I feel very pretty. I wish this eyelash glue was not playing me like this so I can wrap this video up but I feel very cute. I don't know about the color choices we made today. <laughs> okay. I'm not the biggest fan, but you know, the technique was there. I think the eyes look exceptional and I do feel very glamorous, very pretty. I think it turned out cute overall. I just don't know what occasion this is for. <laughs> thank you so much for being here and thank you for sticking around through my hiatus. I love you so much. Like I said, these might become more three videos a month instead of four because it is just a lot to do this every week, especially when I do everything by myself. It is a lot. 
So with that being said, I think we're pretty much done here. <laughs> we're done here. If you get this look, please DM me on Instagram or tag me, I need to see it. Otherwise, I freaking love you, okay? I freaking love you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh! Did I have lipstick on my teeth that whole time? All right, bye.